Hi and welcome back to the workshop. First building for the waste facility is done. Let's take a quick look. One thing I do have to talk about before we start the video, this front section here is magnetized, pretty cool, opens a whole bunch of playability options, however, I did a pretty crappy job with the magnets, you can still see them, and even though you don't see the magnets with the wall attached, still something I'm not too comfortable about teaching about here on this channel, so uh, future episode. Lots of possibilities. It's gonna be cool. So the basic idea for this building was inspired by a couple of materials. The infamous Pringles can, useful for all kinds of terrain. And a buddy of mine is into drone racing. And at the start, you know how it goes. These guys, they do crash a lot. So I have a bunch of cracked rotors and also a couple which are slightly bent or warped or whatever, but highly useful to depict these venting shafts. So the first thing to do was to take out the templates that I used for the waste facility. I used these templates to make some basic measurements and to visualize this project and also make sure I have plenty of room for playability. The templates follow the round shapes of the wasteland facility. So I have no straight corners to make a building. Yes, this is going to present a little problem, but we are going to work with it. In fact, I'm just going to move the problem ahead of me and start by making a box for a venting system. 5mm foam board, black foam board. This is slightly more expensive when buying. However, you do save in paint because you have this nice black base to work from. For the best results, use a sharp blade and always cut three times. First to score the cardboard, then to go through the foam and then to finish the cutting job. Gives you nice straight edges. With the basic shape for the ventilation system done, it's time to start at the front. Simple piece of cardboard and then I cut out a couple of circles. To get even circles, I tend to rotate the subject that I'm cutting. Then I want to fill up the holes with a piece of plastic mesh. Cut to size and glue down with hot glue. Back to the platform problem, this was solved by making the platforms a little bit bigger and making sure there was a 90 degree angle at the front and the side where the intake is going to come. And then it was time to make a couple of holes to fit the Pringles cans. I used the Pringles can as a template and then I simply cut out the circles, same principle as before in three times. and turn the subject to make it as easy as possible to make nice clean cuts. The holes for the platforms are cut, then I also cut out a couple of squares and then it was time for a test fit. The squares were cut to fit a piece of the plastic toy crane that I got a while back and that you have seen me used in other projects. Time to glue the base to the ventilation system. I use PVA for this as it gives a really good bond. Fast drying PVA. And then already I'm going to start by adding some of the detailing. A couple of old tubes that I got from a broken dishwasher. Just rip those out, you know, as a terrain builder, as a scratch builder, you need to look for the materials where you can find them. 
with the first pipes and a couple of drinking caps applied it's time to glue on the first platform 5 mm strips of foam board in between the platforms to give them some support about 4 per Pringles can should be enough the second platform was attached in the same way as the first and then it's time for a bunch more detailing the first step is to get rid of all the ugly sides of the foam board I use strips of 5 mm thick cardboard cut to size and glued in place with a little bit of PVA glue a couple of more things that I used magic straws at the top of the Pringles cans the blue and the purple cap are from dried up markers that my kids mismanaged thank you very much bunch of old cables different sizes attached with hot glue at the appropriate places and then I finish these off with a small strip of cardboard another staple in Warhammer inspired terrain building rivets two millimeter thick styrene rods cut to pieces a couple of millimeters and then I apply these with the knife on a drop of super glue some chains here and there 1.5 millimeter thick I get mine from uh, green stuff world you can buy these of course all over the internet fun little detail I am running low on 40k bits so I had to improvise I use this electrical wiring to make some electrical wiring my imagination knows no bounds sometimes those white plates are diamond plating that I bought online the door is still removable and I'm gonna keep it that way for playability options it was a simple fabrication 5 mm foam board 3 mm foam board for the door itself I made a little aquila to go above the door for some detail and then the side paneling is 5 mm cardboard same materials for the roof section I used half rod for a bit of detailing at the top and the mesh is slightly smaller than the mesh for the main air intake time for painting I'm going to do things a little bit differently no black base coat but the first layer is a gunmetal primer by army painter and then I did some color tests I tried to paint on some texture because the building itself doesn't have any I was happy with the result so I started to lay down the paints You see me stippling and smudging and smearing the paint on using my finger to remove the excess well that's the amount of paint quality that you can expect in this project however it really looks cool for a grim dark theme and it's easy and fun to do After the base colors I used some heavily diluted sepia wash to tone down the metals this sepia wash was applied to all the metal parts also did a black wash at the pipings and the details at the top and the electrical wiring was painted with ivory and black in a rather messy way but that seems to be the theme and then it was time for a last step this is a highlight of steel over all the metal parts and after the last painting step the last detailing step little posters that I printed out glue these on at the appropriate places weather them with a knife 
and I painted them up with a little bit of black wash. I really like the grimdark atmosphere that this piece radiates. Still a bunch of other structures and buildings to add on this waste facility. Looking forward to it. Hope I will meet you there. Thanks for watching. Bye.